Oh hi guys, welcome back to the spare room, Emma again. I've been working on a little project for quite some time as a YouTube project. I haven't published any videos yet and I had thought that the set of screwdrivers that I was working on was going to be the next project on YouTube and I was going to leave this one for a bit but the screwdrivers have been redesigned that many times and at this point they're going to have to be redesigned again and I thought well this is ready to go and I'm ready to start making this I might just start this series of videos and see who's interested in it and make this as a project. A little while ago I found this book which is published in 1897 or well, most of this book that's published in 1897 it's called Dynamos and Electric Motors and How to Make and Run Them and it pretty well covers how to make and wind and and build dynamos and electric motors it's my sort of technology and something I can follow and I've been reading it over a similar sort of a time frame I also picked up this bar of this horseshoe magnet and keeper now this gives you some idea of the sort of size this is going to be the the design that I've I've come up with is going to be about this size this magnet's not going to be much use in this engine and uh, this this motor because it doesn't really do the job and it's probably be a bit weak and it's not parallel and a couple of other reasons so there are ways you can make that work I'm sure but we're going to give that a miss that's just to give you some idea how what sort of size it's going to be so I've decided to call this one Prince um, whether we decide that it's uh, going to be the Prince of Darkness or the Prince of Light I'm not sure and it's the first real thing I've ever made that I've designed from scratch myself. So please be patient. I'm guessing it's going to run to 15 or 20 videos, I'm not sure. And we we'll try and keep them all fairly brief and to the point. If anyone wants to have a go at it, I'd probably got some drawings that I can let someone have it's but let's see how it turns out so this is Prince uh, using this program called Onshape which is a cloud based CAD program that I really like it's free and it's well worth checking out pretty awesome and it's a learning curve for me but this is what I've come up with it's a little dynamo slash electric motor much in the style of a Meccano motor or a toy motor or a Bing motor or a Trix motor from Germany or England in the, sort of about the turn of the century in 1920s Hopefully it should work both ways, both as a, a dynamo to, to run a light bulb and as a motor to run something with a battery. As some of you may have been watching, the Myford boy recently has made a little dynamo slash generator unit and use a stepper motor inside it which looks like a really good thing and probably that's the sensible way to do this but I've been thinking for some time now that I'd like to make something with 
actual working parts and like I said before it's a sort of 120 year old technology so it shouldn't be too difficult to master. So first part we start out with is going to be a base out of aluminium. This is probably machine quite nicely out of billet. It's a simple shape. It's got a bit of a cavity in here to let the oil drip away and give it a bit of clearance on the armature. And it's got two grooves here to mount the, ma the, the magnet in. Have a look, it's got a couple of holes there to mount the magnet and a couple of holes to screw it down. There's also a couple of holes in each end, one here and one here, which uh, what hold the end plates in place. So that's pretty straightforward. So next bit's the magnet and probably there are people around who can magnetize a cast iron magnet for you. Um, I had sort of thought of that and I talked to a fellow YouTuber up in Bundaberg. There's Lance at Bundy's Bundy Bear's Shed. His um, channel's well worth a look. He has some great videos nearly every week. And what he's doing up there is a tractor mechanic. It does a lot of interesting stuff. But he's got a, a magneto magnetizer and his point, he, his suggestion and my idea too is probably we're just going to put a couple of rare earth magnets in here. Um, neodymium or such. That way they won't need a keeper on them when they come off and they're not going to lose magnetism and uh, they're going to be a bit more reliable and much, much easier to do. So that's sort of the plan there. If we have a look, this basic shape, it's just a, a milled up block of iron with two holes bored into it and the bottom piece basically cut out afterwards and a curve around the top. That's going to be about 55, 60 millimetres by 20 millimetres, something like that. So cast iron flats available if you know where to look. And that's what the magnet looks like. Basically the bearing plates are just brass and three or four millimeter brass with three holes in them. There's two screws here to 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 basically to to mount it onto the base and the bearing hole. This bearing here has a bush in it in the back with a top hat section that sticks up a little bit. And that's to locate the, the brush holder. So that's the way I've made that. Have a look at the armature. All the armature is is basically a cast iron block that's turned round and the middle milled out of it. That's one way to do it. Another way probably to do it would be to make a a core out of iron and shrink fit the ends on it and machine them afterwards and that would probably work too there's some more difficult setups and and things to do it that way so probably it's not going to be an option rather than a laminated armature <coughs> Rather than a laminated armature, I've gone for a solid armature. I don't think on this little little motor that it's going to make a lot of difference. Probably it's going to get a bit warmer over a long period of running. But if it's anything like anything else I've ever built, it's not going to run for long periods. So that's going to be fine. So that's just got a brass or aluminium probably brass end cap on each side and that's got two bolts to hold all that together either countersunk screws right through and thread it into the other one or maybe even button heads or cheese heads or something to do the job there and 
and it's got a winding, which is a very basic layers of winding to make a, a magnetic field and the commutator which is going to be timber or some sort of a laminate with a copper shell on it in two parts. One end of this wiring goes to one side of the commutator and the other end goes to the other side so as far as complicated electrics go there isn't any and that's the way that works. And if we have a look that all goes in there like that and pretty straightforward a little bit of end float maybe here and here and a six mil silver steel shaft the brushes are held on this insulated piece here and this rides on that top hat bush and hopefully I can move this backwards and forwards to time it properly get it to run nice and we might put a screw in here I thought just to, to lock it in place I had a couple of ideas about brushes and spring-loaded carbon brushes are probably really nice and will give us a bit more speed and a, a bit more power but these old armatures traditionally had basically a brass wiper that does the job and we've got to put terminals out here for wires and then one on each side so that's a simple way to do it and probably is going to do the job and the last part really is a pulley to drive it and to to run it and I'm rather pleased with the way that that's sort of drawn out. I can't foresee any difficulties making any of it. So that's a bit of a look at what Prince is going to look like. Anyway, thanks for your patience, guys, and thanks for watching. I've noticed recently I picked up quite a lot more subscribers, which is great. Really appreciate your input and your contribution to the community that's YouTube. And I'm sure there's people out there who are much more knowledgeable about these things than I am, but I'm going to have a go at it. And really like to say thanks to all you guys who've jumped on board and to the couple of channels that have given me a shout out recently. There's some great guys in YouTube land and Everyone's doing some wonderful work. So, anyway, that's our current project and that's what's happening and the screwdrivers will sort of happen concurrently probably a bit later on. But this is what we got to go on with, so let's get on and do something. Thanks for watching guys and more soon.